So quarterfinals day started very nearly nine hours, 20 minutes ago. And there's just one more quarterfinal to come. And it's a repeat of the All England final from earlier this year in Birmingham, another of the Super 1000 events. It is the All England champion Lee Sijar of Malaysia against the Olympic champion Victor Axelsen. So we know when we look at the men's singles draw that we will have four players in semi-finals from four different nations and that's always a very nice thing to have a spread of nationalities only five seeds in the quarter-final stage and we are guaranteed just two at the semi-final stage because of course Lee Zizia is the number seven seed Victor Axelson the number two seed Lee Zizia of Malaysia what an all England championship he had Beep Mamota the reigning world champion in the quarter-final stage before beating his opponent of today in the final. He's uh, beaten the winner and the runner-up from the Dutch Open last week, Loki Nieu, who won in to play. in Holland, and uh, then Luxia Sein, who was beaten in the final by Loki Nieu. And interesting, 
both of his opponents so far in this tournament have been training partners with him in Dubai. So Fabio Lopez, our umpire for this one, and service judge Kana from India. Victor Axis, and of course, he targets the big events, the Olympics, the World Championships. But I know how dearly he would love to win the Denmark Ladies Open. And gentlemen, on my right. Last chance to do it in this arena. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lee Zi Ja, Malaysia. On my left, Victor Axelsen. Then <laughs> Lee Zinja to serve Love All Play. So a repeat of the All England final from earlier this year. The Malaysian All England champion Lee Zinja against the Olympic champion Victor Axelsen. Yeah, great attack from Lee. One love. Yes, Steen, you mentioned the last chance to win in this arena because this is the 15th consecutive year it's been at the Ordens Sports Park. Wow. wow. And it's moving to the bigger arena here in Ordens. Moving to Arena Funan, where it has once been staged. Yeah. Moved here because it was too big compared to the audience now. There's been built a tradition. And uh, moving back to uh, the bigger stadium. Precision met play. Two, oh. See, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Missed it. Yeah, that's going to be a battle here because DC Jar has not. Any intention of letting Axelsen uh, stand there and uh, attack him undisturbed. He's going to try and put pressure on the Dane, no doubt about it, trying to win the net. For the turn of serve. Now, I'm struggling to see exactly, but I have a concern that Lise Jar has got both his knees heavily strapped. Yes. Oh, that's not usual. Oh, wow. That's fantastic smash. That's amazing. The snap of that bracket there. Four, three. It's just amazing. Axis <laughs> was a ooh. That was a good one. <laughs> Wide. Yep. Take him with the drift. Seven silver. Five. Four. Yeah. Yeah, this 
sideways drift is definitely more significant than the lengthways drift. Put that away. There. That's gone wide. And I think the lift from Axelson drifted in, and the shot from um, Lisa Jar gift drifted out. Yeah. I concur. some way inside that sideline. I wonder if he was overcompensating for the drift. Yeah. I mean, when I think back to the Olympic final, I mean, he was absolutely precision, pin perfect accuracy with his attacking smashes against Chen Long in Tokyo final. Yeah, there was some uh, funny guy in Denmark that made a meme saying service information to the line judges when Victor Axelsen smashes, it's in. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't have to really pay attention yeah. to <laughs> Yeah, he was really, really sharp at that time, but also um, a good period here for, for Axelsen. Yes, five of the last six points. of the last seven points. Is Beyonce? It's really good there at the uh, front court, Lisa Jack. Game interval, Victor Axelsen with a three point advantage. Det er ham, der skal finde løsningen. Det er dig, der er bedst på det net her. Det er super godt, Daniel. Ja. Det er tvivl, fordi du er eddermemme god der. Din længde, din længde er perfekt derinde også, ikke? Du skal bare lige arbejde med ham, når, når du er i defensiven. For han kommer fint. Skal du buka? Du kan skal jeg skal semua semua tunggu belakang. Lepas itu bola bawah, apa-apa dealingnya kurang sedikit. Dia tak masuk-masuk. 
Ya, kalau mau delay atau apa delaynya terpaksa buka kecuali yuk di atas ya. di atas ya boleh boleh delay kalau tak net net lagi net netnya yuk berani yang ini jangan net yang ini yang net yang ini mungkin tak uh, lovely smash on the resumption of play from Li Zijia now Steen uh, it's been well publicised that the national coaches of Denmark have withdrawn their support during individual tournaments or rather the federation has yeah. withdrawn the support of the coaches to Axelsson. So Axelsson's new coach is? That's his dad-in-law, who is also um, the head coach of the, um, the last two years, the winners of the Danish league. Uh, in my opinion, very lucky winners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no sour grapes then. No, exactly. Um, Thank you. So that's uh, Natalia Kokwu's uh, dad, and uh, they've been working uh, outside of the national practices as well, where they've emphasized the net game a lot, and um, that was exactly what um, what he was emphasizing. Uh, PK, as he's called, um, that Victor was uh, controlling the net um, in the first part of the game. Um, I'm not. I mean, maybe he, he won more than he lost, but I don't think he was totally controlling it. There's still a battle to be won there, and, and uh, PK urged him to um, stay close to the net uh, because it's vital to um, to win that battle, and uh, I totally agree with that. Well played. Well, that was important because the three points since the inception, resumption of play have all gone to Lee Sijard. I'd love to know what Henry has said to his player. That meant that look at Hendro in there. Good defense. Yeah, yeah, and he was looking for the net afterwards, yes. wasn't he? Yeah. So, Lucy Jones was slicing it in front of Axis, and he still managed to get to it. That's not easy to cover that one. No, especially for such a tall athlete. 194, that's six foot four. Axelson. Thank you. Mind you, the Malaysian is six foot one, isn't he? Yeah. Both tall. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah, I agree with you, Steen. I think that the control of the front court area is still very much up for grabs. It's going to be throughout the match, I think, because no one of these two players can afford to um, to sort of surrender the battle at the net. And there might be um, different ways of trying to win it. That's well left because it, it's um, two of the biggest hitters in. Um, in men's singles at the moment. Uh, we saw one that's competing for that title in Lee Chung Yu. Yeah. And he's waiting for the winner of this match here, so that's also going to be uh, a good one in tomorrow's semifinals. Oh, that's way in. Yeah. That's a shocking decision there. And I wonder when we see it in replay if there's some kind of optic illusion because it looks in replay it looks like it's really really severe the uh, sideways drift. There might be. And I'm certain it's there. It just looked really severe in uh, in replay uh, situations. Yeah. Oh, good return of serve up the neck cord. Play. 
snipped his long. Set is over. 15 off. Oh, that's a super shot. Yeah. That was all about angle and placement. To so all power out. Yeah. 16, 15. Mistake. Excellent job. Backhand defence got the neck cord on his defensive shot, and it was uh, a neck cord then from the Malaysian. Forehand defence. That one yeah. you were impressed with. Yeah. Me too. Takes control and um, got to play from that low position. So three point advantage and three points away from the open game. Missed it. And a little shake of the heads from Lucy Jart. Challenge here from Victor Axelson. Challenge call out. Well, very difficult for us to see that far line, but I'm going for out. Yeah, I think so too. What does Hawkeye say? Yeah, long. Always risky to challenge that far back line for a player. Yeah, but I think that's all the Axelson's. Um, Quite content with um, the last five rallies, won them 4 1. At a moment where the match was. Um, well, the game could tip both sides here. Now it looks like it's tipping mostly to Axel's inside. And just by sitting here, now I feel it's um, drift from right to left. I wonder what that will mean for the second game where. Seems like Lizzy Jarrett would like to play a lot to Another the backhand challenge. side. Victor Axelsen, it will be easier for him in the second in. game. Yeah. In terms of drift. Well, Axelsen's handed the shuttle back. So does he really believe that that was long? No, he doesn't. No, no challenges left. And it's just one point in it now. 18, 19. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure the shuttle had gone over, plus it seemed to me that he, he hit the net. It. Yeah. yeah, touched the net. Good spot. So it's game point opportunities. Two of them for the Olympic champion, Victor Axelsen. Oh, that's well saved from Lucy Jarp. A 
opening game. And that meant a lot to Victor Axelson. 21-19. Well, there's a miscommunication there between Victor and his dad-in-law as who is taking the kit bag. <laughs> That's when you have a new coach, then you don't have the uh, the uh, habits. You start to lay a trick in instead of when you have when you have the net you have. So it's a big cadeau to you that you're so skilled. You're beginning to prick in on it. Yeah, now we're seeing what's going to happen. Up ahead, net and the wing. Yeah, but you still have to be clear, Viggo, because he's laying a trick in there now. Yeah. So it's just out with your wing fang here, ain't it? Out of your fatty arm. Kommer alt det flade til dig nu. Ja. Og hvis han ligger ovenpå på det flade, så er det ud af det. Så glider ja. du af eller løfter over, hvis du kan komme til det. Præcis. Godt set her. Det er sindssygt godt. Det er sindssygt godt derinde. Kunne det? Ja. Klar efter saven her. Og stadigvæk. Jeg bliver lidt bedre med løften her. Prøv lige. Men Jamen du det... får her, og så når jeg er ovenpå, ligger mig ikke igennem, så får jeg det mennesbillede. Hold lidt af. Ja. Lige så snart han trykker ind. Så kan du mærke, om, der, om du skal spille over med det samme eller glide af. Ja. Ikke? Eller tryk til, hvis jeg Eller tryk til, hvis du er ovenpå. Yes, lige nok. Jeg har ikke tænkt på det. 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 Kalang kaku, teman cepat cepat itu aja sudah. Mungkin tak ada ini. Kita tengok bukan komfortable, tapi tengok dari poinnya atau apa lebih banyak siapa yang lebih menguntungkan. So there was no doubt that the Olympic champion Victor Axelsson was extremely happy to get that opening game, 21-19. Good opening rally to the second game. So, Steve, what was the coaching advice there? Yeah, it, it was about being ready and um, keep being alert at uh, the net and then some uh, cues about the live decision that he's making in there, Victor, um, what decides what he's going to do, whether he's a little bit um, ahead in the rally, a little bit above the tape, he can push if he's below, or uh, it's a good um, flat lift from... Um, DC Jar, he would uh, prefer to just um, neutralize it, so to speak. We saw two examples there where he just placed it below the tape. Yeah. I have a feeling that the start of this game is really, really important for uh, DC Jar and, and thus also for Victor Axelsen. If Axelsen really makes it hard for Lissi Jar here in the beginning of this second game, um, I think he has a really, really big advantage. Oh, that's a beautiful smash. And then it's interesting to see whether Lee is going to have an easier the task of um, putting pressure on Axelsen in the backhand side, whether he also realizes that there's this side which drift that um, is making it more difficult for him in the first game. It wasn't that he made a lot of mistakes, I just felt that he adjusted and, uh, and couldn't really uh, push it as much as he wanted. That's pretty wide. Well, Hendrowan was saying to me, Zijar, you know, not every rally has to be a winner. You've got to be more patient in the build-up. I think we saw some of that in you know, yeah. the first or the second. I mean, they haven't played a clear virtually in the first game. That's over. Three, two.
Well, you know, I think that the Malaysian is actually doing better at the net than Victor. Yeah, I think so. Here in the second game. Early stages, though, of course. Game number two. Oh, that's wow. lovely. So quick with the racket. That yeah. uh, forearm there must be so strong. Six, two. Wow. Oh, fantastic yeah, close down by Axelsen. That's gone wide. Another little shake of the head from Lucy Sharp. And in a blink of an eye, it's just one point in it. Turn ever for a second consecutive rally. And back level. Seven over. Seven six. Good flick serve. Yeah. yeah good follow up too from the Malaysian. Yeah. Six. Way off balance. He was always in trouble after that. Uh, it's gone a little bit scrappy at the moment, Steam. What's happened? Short rallies? Yeah, short errors. rallies. Short rallies. Numerous errors from both players. And I think they, they are. We have to be really, really focused because uh, they're basically uh, playing their alter ego, more or less. Yeah. Oh, amazing. And I think. Axelsen's defense has been um, better than uh, DC Judge. Well, the power generated on that second forehand fence, this one coming up now, yeah. just a little flick of the racket head and whips it cross court. Well, I mean, they've scored exactly the same amount of points, so. We have the game we hope for. Yeah. Excellent. Really good. He's got to put a little bit extra variation into his uh, net game, Lee Jar, at the moment because uh, he's too predictable. And so it changes from uh, minute to minute, so to speak, here. Yeah. 11, 9, interval. Well, a two point advantage here in the second game for Lise Jacques. That was a very loose shot. I'd love to know what the average rally length is in this second game. I would have estimated about seven or eight shots. Yeah. 
aku sudah tak boleh Terus fokus depan lagi, fokus depan lagi Sudah tak ada rally, tak apa sudah Agak speculation sedikit ya Tetap yakin 11, So anything different Three. on the advice there? Uh, uh, PK is still uh, urging uh, Victor to uh, move forward and, and close the net down and, and Victor says it doesn't feel that good at the moment so uh, trying to reinforce the uh, positive um, things that's gone long yeah it is long he's going to lose the challenge, challenge call out. but I think yeah I, I think it's mixed I think sometimes Victor is controlling the net sometimes I think yeah DC John we talked about it in the beginning up to 6-2, 5-2, 6-2, was controlling the net, but we also saw Challenge Victor come back and, and kill uh, some good ones at the net. So um, the battle is still on. 12, 10, play. Oy, that's really lucky for Li Xijia. A bad service, and then he uh, escapes with a net court shot that's unreturnable that's well played by Axelson gets a lot of uh, angle on the shot not full power a really good choice since it was dropping down vertically shot there from Lisi John that was the one Axelson was focusing on in the um, coaching situation where he feels that um, they hurt a bit the long flat to the uh, deep corners he's been brilliant in his uh, attack Axelson He's such a threat, either cross-court or straight. Opponents really don't know which one to cover. Well, when he's only got time, he can hit it anywhere. Missed it. It's over. 15, 12. But um, a good lead for DC Jar here. He's killing it, yeah. Keeping these smashes uh, straight, the big smashes, Axelson. He was looking for a chance. It's gone long. Taken. Yeah, he was a little bit too late on it, and uh, Lisi Jar closed it down. 17, 14. So that's also a decision making. There is no chance. That's simply it's traveling too far a distance, and uh, with the alertness of Lisi Jar, then um, it would take a lot of luck to survive that one. Rally. Oh my. Oh, 
Okay, so we'll learn on the front court down the easy jump. And that, I know the coach has been urging Victor to go forward and to the net as much as possible, but I feel he's overcommitting sometimes, and it's too obvious. Sometimes he is. Yeah. But also, the second one that Lisi Jia kills, that's not an easy kill. That's a very difficult kill because there's a lot of pace in the shot from Axelson. <laughs> well, Axelson has the most remarkable record since 2020, and he's reached nine consecutive finals in his last nine tournaments, winning six of them. Well played by Axelson. So he just got that little extra length on that shot there. Opened up the front court. So just one point in it. best of serves. Exactly my words. Two point advantage and two points away from taking this second game. Here's a sharp. Has Victor flicked once? I don't think so. Yes, he has. Has he? Yeah. And he got thumped. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely sportsmanship. He certainly didn't mean to hit his opponent. It was such a high lift, he could possibly have seen where the Malaysian was out of his peripheral vision. I don't think it got him in the face, though. No, it was in the back. Yeah, that's OK. But it, nice that Axelson was immediately concerned that perhaps he had hit him in the face. Oh, the Ooh. shoulder. So, 18-19. Landed well in. That's a poor misjudgment by Lizzie Jart. Missed it. And it's now match point opportunities on a run of three straight points from 17 19 down. Victor Axelson as fans around the stadium stand on their feet applauding. He's done it. I think we can safely <laughs> say that Victor Axelson was happy with that victory. Symmetry in the scoreline 21 19, 21 19. Revenge for defeats in the All England final. His fiance absolutely delighted. Into the semi final for a third time here at his home event. Just under 40 minutes for the victory. 
Well, Victor Axelsson has just won his 62nd match of his last 64 matches. That is extraordinary. His run of good form continues. 21-19, 21-19, this is the final rally. From 17-19 down. Confirmation of the scoreline. 21-19, 21-19 in 31 minutes. Yeah. for a spot at Dancing with the Stars, apparently, there. Excellent. I think he should stick to badminton. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is quarterfinals day over, but let's just recap on everything that's happened uh, today on court number one. Akane Yamaguchi, the winner here five years ago, beat the All England finalist, Chortuong, in three thrilling games. And then it was Ben's doubles and Go and Izzuddin uh, have reached their first ever Super 1000 semi-final by beating the Asian Games silver medalists uh, Alfian and Ardianto in two straight games. Then we had a, a most wonderful mixed doubles, the Olympic bronze medalists Watanabe and Higashino beating Tan and Lai, coming from a game down before winning 21-14 in the deciding game in uh, a match that was an absolute thriller. Women's singles, well, it was the reigning world champion, Pusana Benkata Sindhu, who'd been in the final here six years ago, but she was beaten by the teenager, Ansi Young, the number five seed from Korea. And it was a convincing win as well by the Korean. Then it was home delight in the men's doubles because Astrup and Rasmussen uh, came through 21-17 in the deciding game, winning seven of the last eight points uh, to uh, beat Fikri and Mulana from Indonesia, who yesterday had beaten their teammates, the world number ones, Gideon and Sukumolio. Then uh, we had women's doubles and the Olympic champions, uh, Polly and Rahayu, were not good enough today, despite winning the opening game against Wang Dongping and Zhang Wu, losing in 55 minutes. Then it was a men's singles and Lee Chek Yu has reached his first Super 1000 semi-final by beating Cho Tien Chen, the beaten finalist three years ago, but needed three games to do so, an hour and 18 minutes for that one. Then it was Kenta Momota, the two-time former champion, the two-time reigning world champion. He uh, was up against Jonathan Christie and uh, from a close in the opening game, he then after the mid-game interval, just ran away with it and was 15-love uh, up in the second when Jonathan Christie suddenly had to retire with a back injury. Then it was women's doubles and the 2017 winners, the Olympic semi-finalists, Lee So-hee and Shin Siang chan having a close match against Super Jirakun and Teirat Tanachai, who had been semi-finalists here five years ago. And as we've just seen, much to the delight of the home fans, in a repeat of this year's All England final, Victor Axelson got revenge over the Malaysian Li Zijia. So Victor Axelson, the Olympic champion, threw to a third semi-final here at his home event. 21-19, 21-19, the scoreline there in just under 40 minutes. So that's it from quarterfinals today. Semi-finals tomorrow, a little earlier than today. That's 10 a.m. local time, 0800 GMT. So from all of us here, from Steen Peterson and myself, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.
Okay. <laughs>